But how can I be a quitter when haters don't stop? I'm living proof. It's pretty safe to say. What's going on guys, Proof here, and today I'm bringing you another Car Fight Area Live video. Uh, as you can see, the deck that I'm featuring today is Spike Brothers based. And if you guys know me, you know Spike Brothers is my favorite clan. I just wish that they were a little bit better to be able to use competitively. But today I'm bringing you uh, Spikes Against the World. <laughs> I decided to make a deck. This deck came about because I normally wouldn't ever consider using Geronimo, which is the the Persona Stride that was revealed in Fighters Collection 2015. And what he says is that you counter blast one and Persona flip him. And if you have a heart with Dudley, uh, he get your rear guards get plus five and they go back to the deck. Uh, all your attacking rear guards. And then if you have two or more cars in your G zone, your back row can attack the Vanguard as well. And I originally thought that he was terrible, like the worst stride in the entire FC 2015. And after I reread him, I realized that I could use him as a first stride if worse comes to worse, which made me want to consider trying it again. So I kind of centered the, the, the deck around it, which is why I have Dudley Lucifer here. And then of course four bad in because he is the deck. <laughs> he is like the entire push through power that the deck needs. And then put two two beans in here, two jelly beans uh, to help search out my Dudleys. I'm always hit or miss with beans, but it's it's a funny card to use because I just like uh, shouting out hashtag MF beans when I mess around with uh, the people that I'm playing against. <laughs> And then, of course, we got four Flash Bruce here because he's the on-hit stride, and he's pretty decent. It's a break-even, but you get power for it, so it's not too, too bad. Uh, as for the grade twos, four Dudley Mason, which is, like, one of my top three favorite cards in the entire game just because I love what he does, and the on-hit pressure is amazing to me, even if it is a break-even. Uh, four Dudley Douglas, just to give myself a, another target with Dudley Lucifer if I get the break ride, and then... Of course, on limit break because I can always call it out and get plus five, which is great, and then an extra plus ten on top of Dudley Lucifer's uh, ability. And then two Bracky, just because Bracky's great to have in a pinch, and it gets power and gets out the way. For the grade ones, I got four Reckless. Uh, he's just like Bracky, but a grade one version of it. He's amazing. Four PGs, of course. Four Dudley Daisy just to give myself another search target with beans. And if worse comes to worse, I could, if I'm on break right turn and call it out with uh, Lucifer, uh, she gets plus 20 or plus 15, plus 25 <laughs> because she's a Dudley for his skill, plus the break right. And then plus her, plus her own counter blast and give her plus five if I have one available, which I will because the deck doesn't counter blast much at all. And then one Dudley dead because I have ways to search him out. He's best behind, well, he only can go behind the Vanguard, but he's best on the break ride turns. Could be just because it's a 4K booster, which means it's only 15 normally, which is pretty terrible. So I usually try to have Mecha Trainer or something else behind it until that time comes. But it's a one of just because it helps me get the, the combo off, the attack combo off on the, the break ride turn. And then as for triggers, we got six crit, four silence joker to unflip in the emergency, four draw just to pull pieces together, four heals of course, and then Mecha Trainer is the starter just because he's the best starter amongst, he's the Conroe for the clan. And if you know anything about Conroe, Conroe got bopped out of Kagro for being really, really great for the clan and having a lot of options to dig for. And similar here, just not nearly as plentiful as Kagro is. <laughs> And that's the deck, and I'm going to pause the video until I'm able to find myself a game. I'll be back shortly. Alright, <clears throat> excuse me, we got ourselves a game here going against Bermuda, so this is going to be scary. Because <laughs> they can have all the card draw in the world to be able to shut down any kind of push that I want to grab. This start hand is pretty terrible. Uh, got a Beans, got a PG, and then have 
three triggers. So putting all that back and hopefully I get something better. If I get another grade three, I can use beans on my first ride to be able to pull out Dudley Mason, which is amazing. Nope, nope. All right, so that's not great. <laughs> so we'll see what happens because I get the first attack, so I might be able to pull into something better. Unfortunately, I won't be able to ride Dudley Mason first unless I pull another grade three off top because I'm gonna have to ride into him first before I use beans and skill because the main phase only skill. So looks like he has the power version. And it's gonna be able to keep pulling things back. Yeah, this hand is terrible. But we gotta make do with what we got, right? Attack his Vanguard with my, the PG column. Let's see what he does here. This is Prism then. Okay, I get a draw trigger, that's helpful. Alright, so I got some turn two pressure here between uh, Douglas and Bracky here. Oh, stuck. That's really, that's real unfortunate. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna take this one, guard the Vanguard, if I don't get a trigger, which I did. So I'm gonna let the Vanguard attack, because if he gets me, he gets me. So that I can block this for 5k. I was surprised he didn't G assist because G assist when you're going first isn't nearly as bad as G assist when you go second. So I'm going to ride Douglas, call Bracky, call this Douglas, and then call that behind Bracky. And then I'm throwing everything at the Vanguard because that's. <laughs> Well, oh, that, that plan. We'll see what it does here. He or she does here. Okay. That's not getting through. Oh, Mason late. And I just want to point out that Beans can only get a great two or less Spike Brother with Dudley. Assistance sucks, but there we go. G assistant when you go in first is not nearly as bad of a detriment as G assistant when you go second because that means, <clears throat> excuse me, if if I'm at one or if you're getting ready to ride in the two and I'm at one, you G assistant will help recoup some of the, the cards that you lost faster because you get the grade three faster versus if you're at two and I'm at one. You're getting ready to go into grade three, and I'm trying to get myself a grade two, and I lose two cards in my hand. Unfortunately, he didn't get it, so this game's going pretty badly for my opponent. Like, duos are scary. Oh, sorry. Have it. <laughs> I'll take that one, just cause we, we saw it there. All right, so I got Dan now. I don't really want to ride Beans, cause Beans is a terrible ride, but he's at one, and so. And so, it wouldn't hurt. I don't know what he's, okay. Why is this dude shuffling? <laughs> It's not that important this time. Again, throwing everything at the Vanguard because he's great stuck. And <clears throat> Corey Kai plays Bermudas because he loves things that continually draw some cards. And so, hey, bad end. After going against them for so long, I know how dangerous that they can be. Because I think his version is the, the bounce cards game power version. If these guys are any indication. Okay, so I'm gonna no guard that attack because it puts me closer to limit break if he gets the trigger. 
So that's his last heal, if memory serves. Cause one, two, three, four, and he doesn't have a way to Legion. Any triggers to Mason make it harder to guard, especially because he had no more heals and the safety net. So Princess Labrador, what do you do? Okay, flip one, heart with prison, what you do? Choose up to two of your rear guards. Till in turn to get plus five power and auto when it's attack. When it's a, when it's unit attacks or boost, at the end of the turn you may turn this card to your hand. Okay, that's interesting. So yeah, I know my opponent had the chance to get back into the game, and that's whatever. Call all this out. Actually, I'm gonna hand this. Put that to the soul. Grab myself. Bracky here. Gives me two to pass. I could be, could be a little crispy and go for the jug jugular here, which he does. They give me two. If I get a crit, I might pass it to Braggy just to help. Uh, all right. My drive checks have been pretty awful, <laughs> but there's nothing you can really do about that. Cause I still have a PG to use to protect myself. He's at five, so he's at five out of heels and I have break ride coming. And I have a PG to protect myself. But he's not gonna break ride into Bert. Or break ride on top of Bert. So Olivia, I know this one gets the crit. When you shoot attacks, if you have 
G uh, zone one or more, you may pay the cost if you do choose up to five of your rear guards and return them to the hand. If all they have the chosen name, return them to your hand, a different name. If the number of cards return is three or more, choose up two cards in your hand, call them to separate rear guard, and then the vanguard gets a crit. So he's gonna get one, two, three, four, at least four attacks off this turn, and my hand is low, so that's scary. But I can take one of these. Nice, that's what I needed. Thank you, Deck. He's looking out for me. I knew you were. <laughs> Let's see, I need the two cards I got more so than I need anything else. The sucky part of that, I'm gonna have to hope that he doesn't get like a triple triple trigger or something like that, because that's the only way I'll be able to not survive this turn. Okay, returns all five. that one extra card could make or break the game in all honesty and I already let this dude shuffle <laughs> thank you appreciate you <laughs> so as long as he doesn't get a crit which is very likely but my best chance to win in this game is to Break right and bad end on bad end. So if there's anything other than a crit, I have a chance. Oh, there it is. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> and a triple crit or a double crit. Alrighty then. That happened. I got is 31. 
Yeah. That sucks. Alright. So, that happened. And I'm gonna pause it until I get another game. Dang, did they even give me a GG? Alright, we got ourselves another game here going against Glendios. Spike Brothers actually have a decent matchup against Link Joker because our things, our units can get off the field before they're able to be used. Or locked, I should say. They'll be used, that's for sure. But, as you can see, I got beans in my hand, meaning that I can actually use it after I ride up to search out a grade 2. So, it's going to be interesting just because, oh, I guess he has what he needs, at least for the first ride. Alright. So, I got massive amounts of Lucifer's in my hand. And skill. Open up the deck. Grab Mason. I just want to be a little aggressive here just because I am facing off against Link Joker. Attack him with the swiftness. Make him use some pieces in his hand. Nice. Yeah. Alright, that happened. Okay, so he has cold death. That's some good information I have there. Meaning that he could Mega loop. Uh, I need the counter blast, so no guard. Almost guarded it, but then I remember I got Mason in my hand. Yeah, there go another Mason. Sadness. <laughs> and then if I get beans back. Let's see. That back to make space, and then he could drop 15. The hard no pass, okay. He knew what was going on. <laughs> but that's okay. I should have guard to protect myself. Now, the question is, is he gonna use a uh, world line skill to be able to pull out Glen Daddy? Knowing that he has cold death, meaning that if he goes into a uh, loop, he could put down four reverse units, use the skill, and use cold death to give me the fifth one. And so it would knock me out. So that's something important to remember. I was probably wasn't using a world line trying to dig for a magnet hollow to be able to try and pull up a. Uh, what is this? Uh, the unflipper. Okay. Speaking of world line or uh, magnet hollow. Uh, I'll guard that for two. So he's starting to get his reverse units out. Bruce hits, I can put a card from my hand to the soul, search out something else, and it gets plus five. Crit. Crit to Vanguard. Let's see what Bruce is gonna do. I'm gonna put one of these draw triggers in. It's gonna be a bit the most break-evenness of break-evens ever just because what I'm facing. 
this gets plus five. in my turn so he's at four so he can omega lock something but he only has one target and daisy to be able to omega lock which is great for me and if i really wanted to i can go the ultimate hard counter and go uh go into geronimo and attack with all my back row stuff to be able to stunt him still go into Geronimo and try to take advantage of the fact that he has all those reverse units. What I want to stride with. that because if I don't hit a trigger then I just have a, a 10k back here doing nothing but if I get it it could be I need to push me through one two three four five six six triggers have been used I got ten left is she I'm gonna go ahead and give all these things at least these two five units in his hand so assume he has two dead cards in his hand okay got the crit against the world <laughs> of this car fight area uh, we went one and one first game didn't go as expected but what can you do this game almost was able to live the dream and uh, go for Geronimo play but it was kind of tricky just got to play around Link Joker and thankfully my critical triggers came up when they did and so hope you guys enjoyed 
Uh, look out for more content because I'm starting to put up some deck videos or deck profiles now, now that I have a, a nice handy recording space to where I can't or where I won't uh, disturb my fiance. She's trying to relax downstairs. And until next time, guys, be easy.